Hey there, Jess in the Rated Kitchen. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to make cabbage and corned beef egg rolls and we are serving this with a delicious creamy cheesy beer sauce. Let's go ahead and prep some veggies. All right, so first we are going to start with our cabbage and I have about half a head here that we are just going to thinly slice. We're gonna saute this in a pan. And if you wanted to make this really easy, you could buy a bag of coleslaw mix and that way you'd have that bright orange carrot in there as well. Okay, so just take your onion, cut it in half and we're going to thinly slice. So here we have some extra virgin olive oil down in our saute pan. To that, I'm just going to add that shredded cabbage and onion. Two cloves of chopped garlic and then give your pan a stir. So here I have two pretty large sized Yukon Gold potatoes that we are just going to cube into small sections. Now I have already pre-cooked these. You can bake, boil, or steam however you like. And just really small sections. Okay, so to our potatoes that we have cut up, I'm going to add that sauteed cabbage, onion, and garlic mixture all the way down. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, if you have the carrots or you've done the col coleslaw mix, that's gonna be a nice addition. To this, I'm going to add about a pound of um, leftover corned beef that I had, and I just cubed this up. There we go, and give it a good mix. So we are going to go ahead and season up our egg roll mixture. To this, I'm going to add some black pepper, some paprika, and then finally, as just my seasonal, and we wanna take it easy on the salt content because our um, corned beef, of course, has a lot of salt in it. So I'm just going to lightly season with my uh, burger and fry seasoning. Give it a good toss all the way through. There we go, and we are ready to start filling our egg rolls. Let's go ahead and fill our egg rolls. So I'm going to take a few tablespoons of our mixture, and you can see I'm starting with the point end towards me. And one more. You don't wanna overstuff them, otherwise they won't roll correctly. Spread it out. Now to roll this, take the end closest to you, fold it over, Try to keep it nice and tightly rolled. And then each end comes in, opposite end. Take a little bit of water, slide it on the edge, and roll it up. Here I have all of our egg rolls all prepped and ready, and my oven has been preheating at 400 degrees. So I am just going to spray these on both sides with some extra virgin olive oil spray. And you wanna get a good coat in. You could obviously deep fry these, but just trying to be a little bit more health conscious, we are going to bake them and they'll get nice and crispy. We'll flip them halfway through. So here in my saucepan, I have a few tablespoons of butter that I've melted and to that I'm adding equal parts of flour. And this is going to be the base of our beer cheese sauce. So just whisk it around and you wanna let this go for just a few minutes to cook off that flour taste. All right, now we are slowly going to whisk in our milk. And you wanna make sure that you're stirring constantly so that we don't get any lumps in our sauce. All right, to our milk mixture, I am adding some beer, you can use whatever kind you like, a nice Irish beer, I'm using a lager. And just whisk it in. About a half a cup total. So 
So here I'm going to add about 12 ounces and I have a mix of two different kinds of cheddar, just some grated sharp cheddar and then also some shredded um, aged white cheddar. This was actually imported from Ireland. So it has this wonderful strong taste. Throw it on in. To this we are adding some garlic salt and then a generous amount of cayenne pepper. And use your judgment on this. If you don't like it very spicy, use a little less. I, however, love the spice. Okay, and now we're ready to mix it up. So we're ready just to give this a good stir. And you want to continuously stir this until our sauce is nice and smooth and creamy. Just a few minutes. This is what we want our cheese sauce to look like. Nice and thick and creamy and rich and delicious and ready to go. So here we have our plated pub fare and this is our corned beef and cabbage stuffed egg rolls and of course our creamy beer cheese sauce. Thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to check us out at ratacutlery.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get more great recipes like this one.